Are you shooting commercially with a Canon R5 and 8K RAW? Editing in Resolve 17 in lower resolution timelines and having huge issues like this? And if you are, don't worry, it's not the camera. This is a multi-layered decode problem that appears under very specific post settings. So in this video, we're going to dig deep into what's causing the problem and how to avoid it and work around it. So pause the video, grab a snack, and let's get into it. In simple terms, when light passes through the lens and hits the camera sensor, it is digitized as ones and zeros. This encoding is translated into RGB video clips inside the camera. But some higher end cameras, cameras like this R5, have the option of bypassing that process and recording the data in a RAW format. And in this case, the Canon 8K RAW is not compressed like RED RAW or B RAW. Canon 8K RAW is as close to what the camera sensor sees as possible. And this is why the files are larger. But this RAW is still partial information that requires a filter to be applied before the full RGB image can be reconstructed. This debayering process is done inside the computer instead of in camera and happens every time you press play in post. This can be very processor intensive for computers, which is why you often need a powerful computer to handle the raw files. Resolve counteracts this by giving you control over the quality of the debayer process via the decode settings. This results in less information for your computer to translate to achieve real-time playback. But the trade-off for being able to process the data faster is a loss of image resolution, which is great for editing, but not for color grading VFX or mastering. So the real questions are, what decode quality settings can your computer handle to achieve real-time playback? And if you need to reduce the decode resolution to achieve this, what other issues will arise? For me, I would answer like this. First, the Canon R5 8K RAW files, they're huge. My Thunderbolt 2 IO is fast enough to support the real-time playback, but my old 2012 MacBook Pro isn't powerful enough to decode the 8K RAW files in real time. So I have to change my raw decode settings to a quarter res for real time playback. And the trade off is that I get these problems appearing. Luma, chroma, saturation and white balance shifts, black lines around objects in the frame and the frame sizing changing on playback. And these are some real problems that are not solvable by generating proxies, cached or optimized media because unless you use the full res decode to create the smaller proxies and optimize media, the bug I'm encountering decoding the Canon 8K RAW files will be rendered visually through into those low res temp files or optimize media files. The only workaround to solve this problem is to generate the smaller proxies and optimize media from the full Debayer decode, which will take an overnight render or a secondary render machine. But this workflow will eliminate the frame size reconform issue, the weird black edging on the subjects, and it will correct the color balance shift. But for me, this creates a lot of excess data and waste time. So the way I approach this issue now, which is the fastest workaround, is to acknowledge the problem, finish the edit in a 1080 timeline in quarter res decode, then change the decode settings in the raw tab in the color window back to full res. Now a word of caution here, if you forget to switch your settings back to full decode, everything in your scopes will be off. Realistically though, as long as you grade out the color shifts and correct the exposure and you don't change any further settings in the pipeline, and this includes the export page, then you should be okay. But if you're like me and you normally turn on force to Bayer to the highest quality, well, that's the same as changing the decode quality settings in the camera raw tab, meaning the underlying base of your grade will have now changed thus affecting your colors. Further to this, if you decide to decode the 8K RAW to say quarter res and generate proxies and optimized media for an even faster edit, then you'll be working with visible issues. And you need to remain mindful, first in the grade to switch off the cache proxy and optimized media, and then in the render tab, remember not, that's not to choose optimized media, use proxy media or use render cache media to speed up your render. 
Otherwise, all of the visual issues will appear in your final export, which to say the least, is not good. This Canon 8K RAW problem becomes even more abundantly evident when I load full res, lowest compression B-RAW files from my Pocket 4K into Resolve and use the exact same workflow because I do not encounter any of these problems. So it's clear that the Resolve 17 RAW DeBayer decode algorithm is having a spaz with the Canon 8K RAW files with certain system settings. Changing the quality of the decode resolution should not shift these values. All that should be changing is the resolution, not color space, gamma, chroma, and luminance. Canon RAW should behave the same as B-RAW when the resolution decode is lowered. And these wild color and luminance shifts we are seeing should not be happening and could really mess up a grade or could cost you money as you may need to take time to remaster the project. But at least now, if you're a Canon RAW shooter, you're aware of the issue the possible causes and potential ways of managing the problem the Resolve 17 beta is generating via its decode algorithm. My advice is if you are on an older, slower machine like me, is to use a low res decode for playback, vision and audio editing. Then switch your decode settings for your grading and final export. But if you're happy to live with a slower start to your edit, then you can always just use optimized cached or proxy media but be mindful to change the settings away from auto quality and check your raw decode is at full to prevent any image quality pass through problems. Otherwise, keep the files small and after you have finished your edit, delete the proxies and optimize media or turn them off when grading and adjust your decode settings back to full then double check this before rendering. Hit me up in the comments below if you have any further questions about Resolve 17 and I'll reply in the comments. And with that dudes, I'll see you in the next one.